I would, would you like that. What, do you think you would like what you see? I think I would like what I see, because this is a great set so far. And we have at least two more games of it coming right at you. Oh, get the... Mm, oh, he's swinging. That's the, uh, Batter the up issue if you, if you try and... Uh, if you try and push them towards the center of the... St or towards the edge of the stage, rather. When you're doing the... Uh, Oh, ah. <laughs> when you're doing the jab locks, TM4 tried to push him towards the edge of the stage so that the four uh, the fourth dash would kill, but doesn't get the second jab lock because of that. By the way, score hasn't hit it. Yeah, for those keeping track of it at home, it is a it is a one one right yeah, now. Yeah, we are on game. Three. Uh, also, TM4 using a lot of um, PK Flash when he does his recovery in order to kind of stall himself out a little bit. Yeah, it's been like keeping him relatively safe, so no reason not to. It keeps Sayuki honest at also, because Sayuki has to respect it. Relative nothing. Sense. Oh, oh <laughs> he thought that he was going to be gimping Krom. Krom came swinging back, bumped him against the stage. Been a thing oh, that, uh, with this tournament with people not teching the sides of uh, PS2. <laughs> Friday and play special apparently. Yeah, I think there was some other special in the tournament, and another Jer coming in. Sayuki taking game three now up two game. Yeah, one game from resetting this bracket. I like that TM4 is saying, like, that wasn't the stage's fault, that was me, that was my mistakes that I can clean up. Like However, that being said, yeah. Oh, However, that being okay, said, these platforms are doing wonders for Seiki's combos, and I would not be surprised if this goes to a second set if we don't stay on stadium the entire time. Yeah, the platform's been working out for Sayuki a lot. Not as much uh, for TM4. Not really at all, actually. I feel like stages like Stadium and Small Battlefield are kind of comfort picks for the Nesses, who will be able to do cool PK Fire angles off of the platforms, but doesn't really get a lot off of combo extensions. It's just kind of a neutral tool as the platform. Again! The stadium wall proving to be the enemy of Friday Night at Play number 34 here. There's the new villain in town. That's the next villain that's gonna be added to Smash. Yeah, new character, well PS2 wall. They added Ridley, they added K. Roll, they added Sephiroth. Who's this, like, villain? If they're gonna add one more, who do you think it is? Um. Villain. I think a Kirby villain would be nice. Yeah, they do have DDD already, but like, someone like... I know Marx is a, like... Very wanted character. Yeah. I think... I think Eggman honestly has a chance, but it's low. 
I think it would be a good pick, a cool one. Mm -hmm. Oh, good PK flash. I think I'd be a flash. Uh, this could very easily go to a game five. Yes, uh, TM4 definitely in the driver's seat of this game. Um, more of the same where if Saiki doesn't get his combos, TM4 can live so long. Oh, and that, that clank costing him the Jair. Unfortunate angle. I think he tried to. I think he was gonna hit Sayuki and then realize that he still has to recover. Yeah, he was a little bit too far, unfortunately. Oh, Sayuki getting off a nice combo. Uh, forcing Team 4 to stay on ledge this entire game, really. That's sort of been Sayuki's MO this entire set is just. Keep TM4 at ledge, keep ledge trapping him, and eventually he will die to Jair. Unless he gets hit by PK Fireback. Yeah. He did have one time where the, a clank saved him from being Jared. Uh, and that did, in the end, end up costing Sayuki the game. Yeah, so game five, um, I would expect sticking with Stadium. It's been working out a lot for Sayuki. Um, I think the only thing that Sayuki needs to do is just clean up his confirms, clean up his combos, and make sure you get this mess, get these messes stocks taken at reasonable percents. So he's not living to 130, 140 and racking up damage on you. Back up, back on PS2, back at it again. You ever just think about like the crowd that's sitting there? Like they came to watch a Pokemon match, and they're just watching some child and a dude with a sword swing on each other. What do you mean? This is the new Pokemon? Does you know the Gen Nine? <laughs> oh yeah, these are the starters. Yeah, we have a, a fire type and a steel type. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, good back, back there. There. Such a powerful move. Ooh, it tries to go for this more drag down to extend his combo. Uh, Seiki is able to air dodge right out of it. Team 4 is not letting up, almost lapping him in percent. Yeah, this is the first time. Down. This is the first time this set that we've seen TM4 get an early lead and take a stock really quickly. So, how far he pushes his advantage is going to be very important for the rest of this game. Yeah, and it does seem like he's handling it very well. Um, he's playing. He's just playing really, really well. Oh, does get F tilted there, unfortunately, but the defensive maneuver of F tilt. Yeah, eighty-one percent. There was nothing to scoff at. No, especially when you're fighting, like when you're fighting Krom, and he can bring you to eighty-one percent as well, pretty quickly. It's not something yeah, you get You got to be happy with that if you're team four. Who goes for? Down air and an F smash. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, Thunder. jabs the wrong way. Yeah, it sets him up for he, getting grabbed really easily. Yeah, if he jabs the other direction, it still wouldn't have hit. TM4 would have been able to shield, but the, it would have been enough shield pushback so that he wouldn't have got any grabs. Yeah, or at least it would have made it a little bit harder. So even if he could have been grabbed, maybe he wouldn't. Alright, last... Our quick back air. So we're last stock on game 5 of set 1. If Team 4 takes this, tournament's over and Team 4 is our winner. Sayuki takes it, we have a bracket reset. Does tech it this time, fortunately. So, there's a, so there is a lot of stake for, for Sayuki here. 
and Team 4, because then he has to play a whole other set. Yeah, you obviously you want to put someone away in the first set, so you don't have, like... You don't give them the confidence of, oh, I've taken a set off of this person. Plus this boy. Ooh, back air, close, not gonna take it. Back breaks the combo completely. Forward tilt, not taking it, not at a high enough percent. Um, but at 138, he will die to another forward tilt if he eats one. Absolutely will. There's a lot from Krom that'll kill here. An up tilt, probably. Up air, definitely. He's been doing a lot of fares on ledge, and they've been working. Ooh. Oh, this is such a scary position. That's gonna do it! Up switch, wow, does take it. Rage helping him a lot with that one, because uh, I think he did have just about max rage, and it seems like that was close to not killing.